Who ever thought it was a good idea to smash nature into itself? On March 7, 2025, an alarm goes off at the Atlas Detector Control Room at CERN. A single collision event, out of billions, shows a pattern that should not exist. It's a whisper from the universe that screams defiance at the laws of physics. This wasn't a malfunction. This was real. And when Brian Cox got the news, his reaction was one of profound caution. His urgent warning suggests that this discovery, the so-called 3 Eye Atlas event, is more than just a scientific breakthrough. If we have loads of energy in these collisions, then we can make new particles that are extremely massive, much more massive. It's a potential Pandora's box, and the lid is now wide open. We may have found something that will change everything we know about our world. The Five Sigma Anomaly. Deep beneath the border of France and Switzerland, a monster sleeps. It's a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets, the largest and most complex machine humanity has ever conceived, the Large Hadron Collider. Down there, inside a cavern the size of a cathedral, sits its heart, a 7,000-ton detector named Atlas. For years, its purpose has been simple, to listen to the echoes of creation by smashing protons together at 99.99% of the speed of light. But on one fateful day, it heard something impossible. You see, for every one billion collisions that happen inside that machine, only a handful are interesting enough to even record. Scientists are looking for tiny deviations, small clues that point to new physics. But the 3 I Atlas event wasn't a clue. It was a cosmic flare. On March 7, 2025, the sensors lit up with a signature that made no sense. The data showed three specific particles, called leptons, flying out from the collision point, accompanied by a puzzling gap, a presence of missing energy that suggested something invisible had escaped, something that passed through the entire 7,000-ton detector like a ghost. This alone was unusual. But the real shocker was the combined energy of the event. It registered at a colossal 3.1 tera electron volts. To put it mildly, this was unheard of. In the world of particle physics, a discovery is only considered real if it reaches a five sigma level of certainty. This is the gold standard. A five sigma event means there's a less than one in 3.5 million chance that the signal was just a random fluke. The Atlas anomaly wasn't just at five sigma, it sailed past it. This was as real as the ground beneath our feet. The control room was thrown into a state of controlled chaos. Engineers and physicists immediately began a frantic process of verification. Was it a hardware glitch? A software bug? A cosmic ray from a distant supernova fooling the sensors? Teams pored over every piece of data. They ran diagnostics, checked every one of the 100 million electronic channels, and cross-referenced everything against all known physics. They simulated the event over and over, trying to find a conventional explanation. But every single test came back with the same terrifying conclusion. The machine was working perfectly. The signal was real. What many overlooked in the initial excitement was the sheer impossibility of what they were seeing. The standard model of particle physics, the theory that has successfully described our universe for 50 years, has no explanation for this event. It's a theory with no room for ghosts. Yet, here was undeniable proof of something new, something completely outside our realm of understanding. It was a crack in the foundation of reality, a signal from a place that, according to our best science, shouldn't even exist. The discovery was confirmed, the data was irrefutable, and a quiet sense of dread began to creep in. The thing is, they had found something new, but they had no idea what it was. What they found was not just a new particle, but a new mystery. Cox's terrifying prophecy. The news of the three I Atlas event spread like wildfire through the global physics community. But the reaction wasn't one of pure celebration. Instead, a wave of profound unease followed, and it was publicly voiced by one of the most trusted faces in science, Professor Brian Cox. Known for his ability to explain the cosmos with a sense of wonder, his tone was now starkly different. He issued an urgent warning, stating that this discovery, 
could upend everything we think we know about reality itself. This wasn't the excitement of a scientist on the verge of a breakthrough. This was the caution of a man staring into an abyss. Cox, along with other luminaries like Michio Kaku, highlighted the unprecedented nature of the finding. His warning wasn't about the science itself, but about its implications. Are we, as a species, ready to handle the knowledge of what might lie beyond our perceived reality? Many people are crazy about the idea of new discoveries, but the thing nobody tells you is that some knowledge can be dangerous. We might be, as Cox hinted, like children playing with cosmic matches. This warning triggered a theoretical gold rush. Thousands of physicists dropped what they were doing and turned their attention to the Atlas anomaly. Papers with wild new theories began appearing online almost overnight. What could explain this impossible signal? One of the leading ideas was a revival of something called supersymmetry. This is the theory that every particle we know has a hidden, heavier super partner. It's an elegant idea, but decades of searching at CERN had found nothing, until now. Could the three-eye event be the first glimpse of this hidden world of super particles? But not all things are what they seem and other, more bizarre theories emerged. Some suggested the signal was evidence of a dark photon. This wouldn't just be a new particle. It would be a force carrier for a hidden dimension, a secret universe that coexists with our own. In this scenario, the Large Hadron Collider didn't just discover a particle. It may have momentarily opened a portal, a tiny window into a dark sector of reality. The missing energy would be the sign of something slipping back through that window before we could see it. It's a mind-bending concept that turns science fiction into a terrifying possibility. The theories got even stranger. Extra spatial dimensions, complex models of dark matter, new fundamental forces, nothing was off the table. The three I Atlas event had broken the standard model so completely that any explanation, no matter how wild, was suddenly plausible. And this is the core of Brian Cox's warning. When you break your map of reality, you are suddenly lost in a new and unknown territory. And in that new territory, there may be dragons. The scientific community was facing its most profound crisis in a century, staring at a single data point that threatened to unravel everything. The greatest minds on Earth were now racing to understand if they'd made a discovery or a mistake. When the code bleeds through, just when the world's physicists were getting their heads around the possibility of hidden dimensions or a shadow universe, a far more unsettling theory began to bubble up from the fringes of the scientific community. It was the one idea so profound, so deeply disturbing, that at first, nobody wanted to say it out loud. What if the Atlas signal wasn't a particle from another dimension, but an error message from our own? What if our entire reality, every star, every planet, every person, is nothing more than an incredibly advanced computer simulation? The thing nobody tells you about the simulation hypothesis is that it isn't just a philosophical game. It has testable predictions. A simulated universe would have limits. For instance, there would be a fundamental pixel size to reality, a smallest possible unit of space and time, which physicists call the Planck length. The laws of physics themselves wouldn't be laws at all, but lines of code in a vast program. And just like any computer program, it could have bugs, or, perhaps, features the programmers never intended for us to see. Many people are crazy about this idea, and the 3 I Atlas event fits the description of a glitch almost perfectly. Think about it. The signal was incredibly clean, almost artificial. It appeared once, with a bizarre and specific energy signature, and then vanished without a trace, despite countless attempts to reproduce it. In simulation terms, this looks less like a natural phenomenon and more like a computational hiccup. The three leptons and the missing energy could be the result of a rounding error in the universe's code, a brief moment where the simulation's hardware couldn't keep up and produced a nonsensical result. To put it mildly, the implications are staggering. If we are living in a simulation, then who or what is running it? Are they benevolent programmers? Or are we just part of a cosmic experiment, a digital ant farm for some higher intelligence? Brian Cox's warning about upending reality takes on a terrifying new meaning. 
A discovery like this isn't just about learning the universe is a program. It's about the program becoming aware of us. We may have just sent a ping back to the system administrators, letting them know that the characters in their game are starting to figure out the rules. And what do programmers do when they find a bug that could crash the entire system? They patch it, often by deleting the offending code. This theory suggests we didn't just find a crack in reality, we found a crack in our own cage. A warning sent through time. As if the simulation theory wasn't enough to cause sleepless nights, another equally mind-bending explanation for the 3 I Atlas event began to gain traction. This one doesn't come from computer science, but from the strangest corners of theoretical physics. What if the signal wasn't a glitch from a programmer, or a particle from another dimension? What if it was a message, deliberately sent to us from our own future? You see, according to some interpretations of quantum mechanics and general relativity, time might not be the straight, one-way street we experience it as. Under extreme conditions, it may be possible to send information backward through time. This concept, known as retrocausality, is highly speculative, but it's not impossible. The theory suggests that future events could influence the past. Many people overlook this, but if a future civilization, perhaps our own descendants, needed to send a message to the past, they wouldn't use radio waves. They'd use the fundamental language of the universe, particle physics. Here's where it gets really weird. A message from the future would need to be engineered to be unmistakable, to stand out from the natural background noise of the cosmos. The sender would need to create an event with such a specific, unnatural signature that it couldn't possibly be a fluke. An event just like 3 I Atlas. That unique 3 leptin signature, that precise energy level of 3.1 tera electron volts, it might not be random at all. It could be a key, a kind of cosmic zip file containing information. The missing energy wouldn't be a particle escaping, but the thermodynamic cost of violating causality and sending a whisper back through the ages. If this is true, then the Large Hadron Collider wasn't an experiment. It was a receiver, perfectly tuned to an appointment it didn't know it had. We might be in a race against time to decode a message we have already received. What would it say? It could be a warning about a future catastrophe, a cosmic event or a self-inflicted disaster that our descendants are trying to help us avoid. Or it could be a gift, a technological blueprint, the secret to a clean energy source, or the answer to a disease. We built the world's biggest machine to ask the universe its biggest questions, and the universe may have answered with a message from our own children, begging us to listen. The greatest mystery is no longer what the signal is, but what it's trying to tell us. The fallout from the Atlas discovery has moved beyond theoretical physics and is now forcing a difficult conversation about the future of human knowledge. To put it mildly, we've entered a new era. For the first time, there's serious talk at the highest levels, even involving the United Nations, about whether there should be global oversight for certain kinds of experiments. The central question is chilling. Are there some doors in the universe that should remain unopened? This isn't just academic chatter. It's a reflection of historical lessons learned the hard way. When scientists first unlocked the power of the atom, it led to clean energy, but it also gave us the power to destroy ourselves. The discovery of the 3 I Atlas event is seen by some as a similar watershed moment, but potentially far more consequential. We're not just unlocking a new source of energy. We might be tampering with the very fabric of space-time. We are standing at the edge of the greatest discovery in human history, one that could redefine our reality. What do you think the 3 I Atlas event was? A doorway to another world or a warning sign to stop digging? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more answers to the universe's greatest mysteries.